Just got a tip. Some kid out by the Douglas property said his daddy is killing engines and keeping them under the floorboards of the barn. The Douglas property. You figured that might be Jerry Calhoun and his brother Ted? I reckon it may be. We gotta follow through with this. I mean, regardless. Yeah. Uh, can you hand me the file? It's underneath the coat. And I, second thought, just give me my goddamn gun. Jesus Christ. Let's look in the barn. you find something, start ripping up the floorboards. I'll start over there. Yes, sir. Forgive me, Father. Ah, we got three dead engines over here. Possibly more. Grab another crowbar and come over here. I'm coming. I actually feel sorry for these red-skinned sons of bitches. I mean, even if they are savages.
Nothing. Looks like a whole lot of nothing. You used to think this gun hand was good for nothing except quick draws and killing. But the good kind of killing. The kind of killing that makes the world a safer place. Now I'm not so sure anymore. She's only got five fingers. That's not enough to fight all the evil God put on this earth. It's a good hand. Yeah. Maybe when it's writing poetry. Never came to bed. And I need to leave. Well, you have a good while before you need to get to the office. I was going to make you some coffee and eggs. I need to leave for a while and not come back. What do you mean? You're leaving me? I just want you to know you've done nothing wrong. I'm sorry. I'll leave some money on the table for you on my way out. It should last you a few months. I reckon I should be back by that time, but if not, well, you'll be fine. Uh, you're still young and your family's got money. I just cannot live with someone so pure knowing the things I've done. Maybe one day, after a good cleansing, We'll meet again. Quick, give me the goddamn map. These scandals do unspeakable things to you to get their hands on this paper. Are they gone, Papa? No, I reckon they're just getting warmed up, babe. You stay strong now. Keep your trap shut. After the firing stops, we'll make our way around the hotel and head north. They'll be heading the opposite direction to hit the next town over. Good afternoon, my fellow travelers. And what might your names be? Milk, Mabel, and Barley. How fortuitous. Just the father and daughter I was anxious to meet. Uh, oh, my apologies. Um, I have forgotten my manners in all of this chaos. Uh, I am Jedediah Wilkins, a magician and entertainer extraordinaire. Uh, my apprentices uh, flanking my sides are Dwight Mitchell, Dewey Little and Carson Yoakum. <clears throat> now, uh, they may seem a bit foolish and none too wise, uh, but a man of my age and these trying times, the presence of brawn over brain is strongly suggested in my new line of work. Which is? Ah, yes. I will get to the point. You see, um, it is a well-known fact, so well-known uh, that my gossipy associates and I heard three towns over that you and your lovely daughter were in possession of an extremely valuable treasure map. One so valuable, in fact, that I simply had to meet you. And you must know, I came willing to kill every single man in this rat's nest of a town in order to get my anxious little fingers on it. 
I have been offering my services for the better part of three decades. Uh, in harmless bits of magic and acts of ledger domain, uh, constructed simply to amuse and enliven my fellow travelers. And what have I received in return? Hmm? Nothing. Oh, there have been a few accusations hurled at me, such as cheat, <laughs> robber, thief, charlatan, fraud, and there was that one offering of tar and feathers, but uh, when all is said and done, all I am left with is a single gold tooth. <laughs> now, I am sure it would fetch some small amount at the pawnbrokers, if needed, but no, I shall no longer settle for pittance. I am collecting what is due me, starting today. And that brings us back to you and your daughter. You see, uh, your friend over yonder? Uh, yes, well, with his dying breath, he swore that the treasure map was last seen being stuffed into your lovely daughter's garments. Hmm. What to do, what to do, what to do. Hey, I could instruct my uh, rather ruthless associates to rip the map from said garments right here in the street. Though I fear the ensuing vile debauchery would be too much even for me. Or B, you could surrender the map to me forthwith in a spirit of cooperation. How shall we proceed? Why don't you just go fuck your holes, mister? Why, now that is an alternative I hadn't considered. Very well. Oh, but no! You're gonna ah! lack what I do to you. Ah! Well, looks like we got ourselves a spirited gal. Ah! Oh, no! You ah! learn to behave. Oh, no! No! We all do respect. Uh, undignified, isn't it? All right, all right, I'll give it up. It's in my left pocket. You gonna let me move my hands to get it? Oh, no need. Uh, Dewey, approach Mr. Barley uh, with caution. I gotta put my hand in his pocket? <laughs> I mean, his, his pecker's right there and everything. <laughs> oh, Dewey. I'm afraid of going all Nelly with the excitement. <laughs> Dig deep, Dewey. <laughs> all right, now, keep, keep away from my daughter, or I'll put a ball in this man's peanut head. Honey, get behind me. You shithead, draw your coat, and he's a dead man. And then I'll start shooting at you, too. Don't even try it. Save your ammunition, gentlemen. They won't get far on foot.
No need to shoot. I got my hands up. <laughs> Hell of a day, ain't it? You got any water on you? Would be mighty appreciated. Oh, this, this heat will beat the best of them. All right, I cut the horse shit. I'll be direct with you, because that's how I do business. Your name's Hart, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I've been following you for the better part of 10 miles. You, uh, you killed my brother Ted. Now, why'd you go and do that? Because he was killing engines. I even caught him in the act. Well, shit. That, that is a good point, but I know I couldn't sleep a wink at night if, if I let you go without getting justice for my brother and for myself. I, I couldn't do it. And I happen to hear that right hand of yours pretty fast. Fastest in town, in fact. Is that true? <laughs> a humble man. Okay. All right. Well, why don't you go stand on right over there? Come on, go stand over there. I gotta find out for myself. Now this is happening whether you want it to or not. Go stand over there. At least I'm being fair. <laughs> you know, I ain't no slouch myself. So I'll tell you what, I won't go for my gun till you go for yours. Goddamn son of a bitch! You uh, goddamn son of a bitch! You, shot. <laughs> you, you win. You still killed that.
What's your name? Nancy. Is that your real name? Sure at all. Just make sure you wash up nice and good. I'm gonna go grab a drink first. That must have cost a pretty penny. Much more than I could ever afford. I was hoping to live vicariously through you, friend. I don't got any friends. Well, maybe you ought to make some. Be a shame if you got uh, rough and tumble and ain't got no protection. Why don't you just skip on out of here? Why should I do that? Because this is a friendly town. Ten stars ain't never been friendly to me. That's why I don't like them. Yeah, all right. Friend. You happy now? Well, it's a start. Why don't you follow that up by walking your ass out them doors? We'll call it your uh, good deed for the day. will do. But first I'd like to buy you a drink. Buy me a drink. Another one. Well that's awful kind of you. Thank you. One more drink and then you skedaddle. Tab, mister. Uh, oh. uh, don't worry about old Clem there. He's been a bully and a loud mouth in this establishment for years. About time it caught up to him. Uh. Oh. <laughs> my, my, my. Now, that is either a sign of excellent brand or ominous danger. <laughs> We're open. Just take a seat. Wonderful. Ah, let me see. Give me a shot of your finest brandy, my good fellow. wants to see a goddamn show, huh? May I have a volunteer? Hey, you young man, ah.
Mr. Jedediah Wilkins. Why, yes, indeed. I would be delighted and honored. As a matter of fact, uh, I rather fancy the game of cards if there are any willing participants. Yeah, I'll, I'll play. Yeah, you can count me in. All right. This is hardly a card game. I'm going to need one more participant. Your call. Oh my. My fold, I ain't got shit. Go then, young man. What you got, cowboy? Here. Look at that. Well, goddamn! Nothing's gonna beat that but a full house or a straight flush. By God, this may not have a flush that I'm not the Irish. Please, young man, sit down. We're having a game here. Settle down, folks. There's more to this game. Huh. <laughs> Full house. Oh, holy oh, shit, look at that. Ah. Uh, uh, well, you win some, you lose some, eh, you lad? Ah. Uh, Maybe your next adventure will bring you more fortune. You cheated. Uh, I beg your pardon? You are a goddamn cheat and a liar. And you, sir, are a sore loser. Pray tell, what proof have you? Huh? You're stuffing cards up your sleeve. I saw you switch them. In fact, you've been running your mouth off ever since you walked in here to cause a diversion. You are no magician, sir. You are a fraud and a sham. How dare you. This ain't fair. I'm taking my money back. Hold on there. This is preposterous. No, what's preposterous is that shooting display you put on earlier today. Your friend here is shooting blanks and you have that slug load in your mouth the whole time. Mister, I am the most dedicated showman this side of the Missouri River. And for you to assault my intentions and insult my good name is slander in the highest order. I provide joy, I provide laughs, I provide something to believe in in these harsh times. How dare you take that away from these wonderful people? And from me? 
Boys, get his hands on the bar. No! 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 Got it! Uh, hold it, Jess. Hold it. Good people of Vista County, my name is Jedediah Wilkins, and you will remember that name. If you do not, I shall return in a fury of vengeance until my efforts are appreciated. Applaud! And as for your repellent behavior, young man, that shall not go unpunished. You besmirch my name and reputation, my very art. You have disappointed every single one of us with accusations of fraud. Spoil sport. You can keep your winnings, but to make sure these itchy fingers of yours don't shoot me in the back on the way out of town. Let's go, gents. <laughs> Magic enough for you? <laughs> Madames and messieurs, I hope you have enjoyed the show. Maybe it'll get better someday. Every bone in there is broken. I'm missing at least two fingers. If I can make the next couple of days without it getting infected or having to chop it off completely, it'll be a goddamn miracle. What are you gonna do now? It's my gun hand. Can't write no more poetry. Can't uphold the law. A man that can't execute his passions or work in life ain't a man at all anymore. Well, you got a new passion now. How's that? You want to kill those you rat bastards, don't you? That I do.
kid. Come here. Can you read that? Those ain't words, mister. Looks like a bunch of chicken scratched up your paper. What does it say? Not much, I reckon. You're really not gonna tell me what it says? I've never been much for the spoken word, but um, if you'd like to sit here in silence with me, feel free. We were just a drunk, just like my pa. Insolent swindler. I should have had you boys kill him right back there on that table. You know, not to speak out of turn, but what'd that man do to get you so heated? I mean, we were the ones that cheated him. We didn't lose any money. It's the principle of the matter, Dwight. Those winnings, they weren't the true stakes. My character was brought into question. What do you mean? Did you not hear the laughter? See the joy in their faces? Feel the exuberance of everyone in that saloon? <laughs> Those yokels thought I actually caught a bullet in my teeth. <laughs> to help someone feel the awe and wonder that we all experience as children. That's magic. That's my contribution to life. That's what fills my heart, goddammit. And for that gutter snipe to so ruthlessly expose me over such a jovial and inconsequential gag makes my blood boil. This is a stupid trick if you ask me. Do you not understand? When I hold an audience in the palm of my hand, I am God. I can do anything I want. They'll not only accept it, they will encourage it. <laughs> I can control any man, woman, child. I can control a whole town if I want. Don't we do that already by killing folk and robbing them? <sighs> but do you give them something to believe in before that, Dwight? A moment of marvel is worth more than a lifetime of banality. The money we steal is not stolen. It is a small fee for the opportunity to experience greatness. Huh. Dwight, what do you care about? What do you treasure in life? What is it that makes you happy? What makes you feel like a man? What would you die for? I don't know. Of course you don't know. <laughs> Fucking milksop. Why, why do you, why are you riling him up like that? I don't know. Come on. I don't understand why he's got to put on a big circus and everything every time. I don't know why we just can't go in and do what we got to do. Why do you go along with what he says if you don't trust him? I don't know, I guess the money. Let's make some money then, huh? I'm just saying, he did that man wrong. And he's got what's coming to him. And I hope... For my father. Shoot! Don't shoot us!
please don't you miss we was just passing through I saw your tent and was hoping that we uh, might get some water where'd you come from we got chased out of town a warlock and his thieves are after us you don't say you might know who they are oh i got a sneaking suspicion only i ain't running from them so if you plan on coming with me, I'm gonna hit those men straight on. Now don't go do nothing foolish. You ain't gonna do much damage with them busted up fingers of yours. My daughter here and I, well, we need some food and supplies if we're gonna mosey on any further along. I think it's best we stick together, mister. What the hell do you have that I can use? This? Enough to go around three ways and some left over. I was just heading down to the river for a quick wash before I'm on my way. So if you two want to trek with me, you go where I go and you do as I say. You plan on killing them boys when you find them? Well, I guess that's Gonna be just fine with us. <laughs> hey, hey, where do you think you're going with my daughter? You think I'm leaving the two of you unsupervised with all my provisions? I want them both you kick rocks right now. Oh, real shit. Maybelline, you stay here and watch camp, and I'm gonna stick with, what's your name? Hart. With Mr. Hart. All right, you leave that there. Take care. Jedediah and his boys do that to your hand. I might know a doc. How much that treasure map worth? Well, I don't know. Word of mouth and folklore don't mean a heap of nothing these days. But if it's worth half of what the myth tellers say it is, well, then none of us will be working for the rest of our lives. How'd you get a hold of it? <laughs> Family secrets. How far behind were Jedi and his men when you escaped town? Well, I don't know. Not far. We did manage to steal some horses yesterday. Just a guess. Half a day. Maybe a full day if they stop somewhere. And looks like they did. All right, then we got some time. We wait here. You got any more weapons on you besides that rifle I saw back there? Nope. Found it in the barn. Ain't got much ammo neither. Maybe this little whittling knife, that's it. So in other words, nothing. Spout right. Yeah, it's just swell. I think it's sleep. It's too cold out there. I heard some noises too. You mind if I warm up in here? You got a wife back home? Yeah. You plan on returning to her? I don't know yet. Looks like you killed a lot of men with that hand. You don't have to be so scared. I ain't get scared. So you're just mean? I spent my whole life trying not to be mean. Just fair. My pa ain't gonna wake up, mister.
show you that old coot really have a treasure map? Or is that all hogwash? No, we got it. We wouldn't be running so hard if we didn't. You're thinking about it, aren't you? Thinking of what? We can get a five mile head start on the map before he even wakes up in the morning. I gave that man my word. Are you a lawman or something, or just stupid? Both. Papa, where'd you go? Did you think he was going anywhere? His rifle's still here. Probably just went to take a piss. You hear that? I don't hear nothing. We know you're out there, old man. We just want the map. Give me the map. We'll stop shooting. I ain't gonna hit shit with this pistol. Hand me my rifle. It's right at the edge of the tent. Go on, grab the lantern while you're at it. See that shit die? I think I shot that last right in her ass. Put that light out. I'm gonna need your help. Get down on your knees right here behind this tree. Come on. Go on. I'm gonna rest this rifle over your shoulder like just grip it up there. Keep it steady now. I need you to keep rock solid, alright? Come on! Hide behind that tree right there, I can see him. I'm gonna pepper that tree, make him run out for cover. When he's out in the open, I'm gonna hit him. You just keep steady, prepare for the loudness. God damn! Hold it steady, man. Don't cripple me, Jared! Oh! Fucking Christ, you back at him! Christ, say come out! Shit! Come on, buddy! I got you! I got you! Pull me back! Come on! Pull me back! We're out. Shit! Damn it, I know, I know! Shit! Ah! Ah! Damn it! Man. See your pony anywhere? Well, it's gonna take him a while to tend to that bastard's leg. We'll be good for a while. Let's we'll start packing. God damn it! Come on! I don't know what to do, Carson. I can't even see the bullets they're in so deep. I don't want to be a cripple the rest of my life. Just like my Uncle Tim. And he falls over all the time. Calls the stairs the devil. 
we're gonna fix you up real nice, okay? And we're gonna have you running around like a chicken egg feeding time, okay? Thank you, Dwight. Thank you, Dwight. You've always been kind, and it's been a pleasure riding with you. You and I both know damn well that leg needs to come off. Yeah, I know. We are running out of time. What do you want to do, Jedi? I mean, Carson's a good man. I just ain't got the heart to tell him. Tell him? <laughs> Kill him and leave him. He is dead weight. Now, if you want him dead, you're going to have to kill him yourself. <laughs> I am not a killer, Dwight. That is why I employ you. Now, I don't even own a gun. Well, can't you just go talk to him? I imagine it hurts the magnificent bitch. Yes? Dear Dad, I have felt this much pain in my entire life. Do you think it needs to be cut off? Oh, no, 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 no. I won't let him take it off. I mean, a man without his limbs, he's no man at all. I know, that's true. Just like that son of a bitch we stomped his hand, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I need you here with us now. We have a fight. And you gotta fight in a man who can't fight when there's fire burning all around him. He's not much of a man either, is he? You're right. You're so right, Jared. And a man who can't stand up with his fellow soldiers, his brothers in arms, and, and defend them. Well, he's got no honor. And a man without honor, well, he needs to find a different way to fight. Something that he can do the noble way. Yes? Oh, that's a fact. That's a fact, Jared. Uh, a man like that needs to find a different way. Yeah, I'll do whatever it takes. Yeah. A bum leg. You're not going to get far. And it just holds your fellow soldiers behind. You know that. I know. You're so right. Well, Carson. <laughs> I need you to look deep inside. Find that fire and passion to fight. Fight. Maybe the only way you can fight. A noble fight. Look at the bigger picture. What you can do. The one way you can save us all. Do you understand? I understand, Jared. <laughs> I'll do right by my fellow soldiers. <laughs> I'll do what's right by my fellow soldiers. Yeah. Just give me a second. <laughs> so what are we gonna do? Give him a second. We'll head out first thing in the morning. Powder Cake County should be coming up soon. Maybe my pa will be here. Don't be foolish, darling. Your pa's intentions were entirely clear. What do you mean? One way split pays more than three. If you have any more doubt, my horse was stolen too. It'll be a hard payout without this. Well, goddamn. Well, why the hell he run off then? Maybe trying to get home to our son? His grandson? No. Our son. He raped me years ago, made me keep it. Wasn't the greatest of ideas, now we got a soft grain at the farm. 
Oh, hell, why'd you let that happen? Why'd you let those plum bastards take your hand? Look, we both got sad songs to sing, but now is really not the time. Oh, man. The town's right over yonder. I don't see many people, though. Jedediah and his boys probably through there already. Yeah, all right, listen. You wait here, I'm gonna go check it. No, you'll be fine, just use that thing if you have to. Um, I'm real sorry about what happened with you and your paw. Well, maybe we can make it back to safety. We can find a nice place to settle down. If you need help with your son, I'm saying. Yeah. I reckon that'd be nice, Mr. Hart. Well, good. And settled. Just wait right there. Maybelline, where you run off to? Hellfire. What are you doing? You're gonna have no good hands to carry the treasure with. Where the hell did you come from? I didn't ask you first. Your daughter ran off with the map. I don't know where she is. Left me to ride with the buzzards. God damn, that show sounds like her. What are you doing busting up your hand for? Come on, let's get it cleaned up. I'm fixing to make us some coffee, and then we's going to head out and find my goddamn treasure map. Come on. Figured I'd bust it up because it ain't good for nothing anyhow. Hell, that ain't no reason to bust it up like that. Well, I can't think of a better reason. 
Everything I ever loved in my life was either taken away from me, ran away from me, or destroyed without my consent. Figured I'd beat fate to the punch this time and have some control in my life for once. Hell, that's just a damn shame. Well, what do you think my daughter went? Hell if I know. I can't really blame her though. She told me. And you won't believe that little whore? Makes a heap of sense. Try to turn everybody against me. Just like her ma. She been trying to run away for years. Now that she's got the map, ain't no reason to stick around with her pa no more. Well, if you can't deny it, I must accept it as fact. Well, there's a reason I didn't cling on to that map so tightly. I got it all stored up right in here anyhow. If you want the company, well, you best be nice to me. It may pay off real good for you. Maybelline got the treasure map. She already got a jump on us. Listen here now. I ain't no young whippersnapper like you no more. I need to save my energy. Besides, I know a shortcut she don't know about. We're gonna get there first, no matter what kind of jump she got on us. Speaking of jumps, what the hell happened to my horse? Sorry about that. She done ran away, I couldn't get her. Sweet dreams, cowboy. Well, well, well. Maybelline said you might still be resting here. Leave it to a harlot to flap her yap. You and I are not unalike. Both of us are men who want what we want, no matter what. You want one thing. I want the other. I have a gift for you. A chance to make right the ill of unspeakable tragedy and exercise your own ghosts at the same time. Oh, I will benefit as well, needless to say. That man who lays there beside you, he is a filth monger, a rapist, a molester, I know this because Maybelline has confessed his transgressions against her and her, uh, uh, I digress. It might comfort you to know that Maybelline did not run away from you. I took her against her will, but things change. And she has come to cherish her time with me. So much so that she has confided in me that if she had the chance, she would put a bullet in that old man's head, if, if she could. But she can't, which is where I come in, to plant the seeds of possibility, to help a good man do the right thing? Do you understand? Do you feel the flame growing? See the flame? Hmm? 
Is the flame burning? Does the flame show you the way to do the right thing? Yes. <laughs> Here's a hand, you fucking asshole. <laughs> I hope things give you a little bit of relief, kid. But if it's not enough, I'll be back one day for you. Make things right. For good. You sure it's here? That's what the map says. Yeah. Digging my way straight to hell for this damn treasure. Roots, rocks, shit. Hold on. I think I hit something. Holy hell. <laughs> Holy hell. <laughs> Bro, we're gonna be rich. Oh, we are rich. <laughs> Tear it in the sun, bitch! <laughs> Open it! Oh, yeah! How much do you think there's in there, Jedediah? More than you'll ever count. Damn, that is a lot. Suppose I can get my cut now? Later. Later. You still need to tell me what happens. Oh, I will. One day. You say that every day. Yeah, well, I'm writing about it. Had to relearn with my left hand. It's not gonna be any time soon, though. Or you could just tell me. Talk to me about what happened. You know I've never been much for the spoken words. I'm just glad you're back. I'm not mad. I'm just never expecting to see you again when you walked out that door. Yeah. You know, be fully honest. I wasn't expecting to come back either. But I'm glad I did. I read somewhere that switching your dominant hand to the other side so late in life messes up the brain real good. Throws everything off balance. Yeah. That sounds about right. Some kid dropped this off during the night, said his paws hoarding dead bodies under the house near the Gunnerson Ranch. Could be the McCarthy killer. Take the south end. We'll investigate the barn.
Goddamn. Father, who art in heaven, how would it be my name? Hey, you killed my pa? You killed my pa? We're right there. I didn't want you to kill him. I just wanted him to stop killing folk, so I told the law. And look, I'm sorry about your pa, but you did the right thing, son. Do you know why he was killing people? There was bandits and thieves coming around these parts all the time, talking about some kind of a treasure, but we don't have no treasure, mister. We ain't rich people. I'm so sorry. I didn't offer you any of this pie. Do you, you want some of this pie? No. You got a mama? Nah. She ran off. Stole his treasure. She's an evil woman. She ran off with some kind of a con man. Con man, you say? Yeah, it was a long time ago. All right, don't move. You stay right there. Stay in there, keep shoveling that pie. Let's go. 
Come on. Go. Don't even think about it, hombre. Now you drop that goddamn rifle right there. Now I heard the gunfire. So I reckon you done killed my neighbor. But what do you want with little Mikey? Can't you see that boy soft in the head? Just taking him into town at the request of this Paul. <laughs> That's why I hate you law man. Always lying. Claim to be chasing bandits. But you're the most corrupt outlaws in the land. The way I see it, is you done shot my neighbor, Milt. And you're gonna escape with little Mikey here. So you can use him as ransom for that treasure map. There ain't no treasure no more. That's what they all say. Why don't we ask the kid? Hey, Mikey. Should I trust this man? Or should I kill this man? Yes. Y yes what? Yes, trust him or, or yes, kill him. <laughs> He's incorrigible. I have some unfinished business in Isles County I need to tend to. I'll see if anyone in town can look over the key. I can't put up with this all night. Well, you don't have to. I gave Milt my word I'd look over the little red bastard. You please see a doctor today about your throat. You sound terrible. Oh, I'll be fine. I just got a few good swings in on me, that's all. All right, all right, I'm going right now. Watch over the little heathen while I'm gone. Open your mouth. Close it. Well, he did a little damage to your larynx and trachea, but uh, you should be fine. How soon? Tomorrow, I reckon. Sound better already. What happened? Well, it just got into a little uh, Donnie Brook with an unsavory character. Uh, nothing too uncommon in my line of work. Hmm. So he was able to damage my voice box like that just by punching it? Well, he was able to cripple it temporarily. Luckily, he didn't break the skin. If he did and made contact with it, he may never speak again. Show me where that can happen, Doc. Welcome, brothers and sisters, to this fine, sunny day, the Lord's most glorious day. Welcome to his house. We come together to glory in his word. For his word, it is our sustenance, our very being. It guides us in all things and renews us in the spirit. Let us look to his first words for us. 
And they are found in Genesis, the first chapter. And God said, be fruitful and multiply. Replenish the earth and subdue it. And God said, behold, I have given you every herb and tree and the fruit which is upon the tree. To you it shall be as meat. But temptation crept in, the devil's handiwork. And the Lord, through his prophet Ezekiel, punished his defiled sons and daughters who had given over to rich meats and evil. Even thus shall my children eat defiled bread. Thou shalt eat it as barley cakes and bake it with the dung of humans in their sight. This, this is the punishment for giving over to the temptations of gold and silver and rich meats. And if an evil man offers up easy gold and rich meats, do not be defiled. The wheat and barleys and lentils in your storehouses are sufficient unto your day. But must we settle for less? As children of God, I say no, no, no. We have more through the Lord. As his children, we feast only on the bounty that is God-given, the blessings that we all receive. But we must all be wary of the consequences of feasting on rich meats unearned. As his children, we feast only on the bounty that is his, the bounty that is given freely by him to us, the bounty that is God's bounty, and God alone. Can I get an amen? amen. Can I get a hallelujah? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And let us pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Welcome, sister. So good to see you this Sunday. I'll bring you a husband next time. I'll try. Good to see you in church, finally. Oh, thank you so much for your support, sister. Always good to see you next to Potluck. Oh, how's that arthritis treating you, Blue? You take care of her, young man. Almost there. those rich meats taste, you bastard. Excuse me? You don't remember me? I do not believe I do, young man. Poker game. You took my law career, my writing talents, everything I ever had and cherished, and they still ain't recovered. Never will. I do not recall it, my son. I am a man of God. Uh, I have had my transgressions in the past, to be sure. But I have renounced the magic and tricks of supernatural ghosts. I worship only the Holy Ghost now. Maybe the man you seek is long dead. Be that as it may. Many a man has found what he seeks in the house of the Lord. You're welcome to come back next week. Perhaps you might find what it is you are looking for. I come here to tell you one thing. I don't give a horse's ass whether you remember me or not, because I remember you. And my memory may not be the best, but I know my accusations have never been more right than they are now. Well... Well then, um, unless you have something more to add, uh, 
If you do, please be brief. I have an engagement with my young wife, Maybelline, in the quarter hour. Just one more thing. I'm betting on doing to you what you've done to me. Mm. An eye for an eye, just like your good book says. It also says, turn the other cheek. Do you like it? Oh, yes, indeed. It's from France. <gasps> Ooh la la, may we? <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am. Boss. What do you want now? The boss, I was just hoping I can get an advance on my portion of... An advance? You'd have to be worth something for an advance. Well, boss, I did do my part, and I do believe I am entitled to my portion. You my... are entitled to exactly what I give you. What? Are you a child? You spend it on penny candies? Gimme, gimme, what? I just had some bad luck at the tables last night. You'd have to have some brains to have bad luck at a card table. I will give you two more coins this week. Two. You can count that high. Right. And that's all. A fetch. There. Thank you, sir. Huh. And two only. When you get a few more brains than a three-year-old, we may uh, up your allowance. Thank you again, sir. Ma'am. I know. Daya. The most peculiar thing happened after my sermon, dearest. And what might that be, preacher? Oh, nothing to worry, I'm sure. Uh, you haven't spoken to your father recently, have you? Why do you ask? Uh, I thought we swore never to speak about that time ever again. Oh, true. I was just wondering. You're a curious mind such as mine, while tossing and turning, analyzing things, I, it's nothing. Uh, so, you have not seen him recently. Just like we agreed. Right. He's a rotten crotch bastard that deserves whatever miserable laugh he made for himself. Agreed. I do have one more question, though. What is it? How much do you love me? Sweet bit of honey. Mm. Oh, God. oh God, Jesus! Oh, my God. Oh, you fucking shit kicking bats. How could you? Oh, shit. 
schuldig. I loved her. Good. Now shut your goddamn mouth. I'll do all the talking this time. <laughs> you can shoot me now, too. You know I've never carried a gun in my life. I said shut that goddamn shit-eating mouth of yours. I got something to say. So this vulgarity between us just comes down to which one of us goes to hell first. I'll decide who's going to hell. Now, as I was saying, I know you ain't forgotten about your past transgressions, so I won't repeat them. I'm here to tell you I'm going to bring some balance to this world. To take from you what you've taken from me. And I ain't talking about them feminine hands either, so you leave those where I can see them. Look up at the ceiling. Look up at the goddamn ceiling. You see, I'm getting to express myself through my speech better and better every day now. I owe that to you. And I intend on returning the favor. You just keep those eyes up on this, you know. I know you pride yourself on your passionate sermons and eloquent speeches and whatnot, so... Oh, hell, well, I'll just get right to it. I just severed your larynx. Don't worry. You'll live. Only difference is you'll never con another man out of his money, lie to honest folk, preach the good book to church folk, or sweet talk another woman into your bed ever again. You get to start fresh, just like me. Only it's gonna be a lot different for you this time. You are welcome for the opportunity, sir. Shooting stop, mister. Hell, looks like things have changed a bit. The only thing that's standing between me and my share now is that little hussy you got upstairs. I suppose the humane thing to do would be kill you. But you wrong. I ain't your killer no more. I just done canceled our employment, see. I imagine that hurts like a magnificent bitch. Here, here's your lamp.
son of a bitch! Get between me and my gold. He's going to get his. About that hand, mister. That was just business. Now listen. I got a chest over there filled with about 25 pounds of gold. We can split it 50-50. I mean, all I took was your hand. I didn't take your life. We got a deal. Alright. Where is it? Just over yonder by that livery. 50-50. Promise you. Deal? Yeah, we got a deal. You give me that gold, and I promise I will not kill you. It's a deal. You want to know something? What's that? I lied. This is the last of it, Mikey. I want you to have it. It was your pause before, and now it's right yours. Your ma died for that money, but to be truthful, she was not a good person, no matter what she had to go through. In the end, she gave in to the devil and temptation, just like the rest of them. My ma's dead? She is. But believe me when I tell you it is for the best. What am I even supposed to do with all this? Well, you do whatever you want with it. Just promise me you don't go stealing no more pies off of windowsills. Now, as much as Anna and I would like to take care of you, we have other plans. First thing in the morning, we're headed to Oregon to teach young kids just like you. Never thought I'd see the day where I'm standing in front of a bunch of little rascals talking my head off about life and education and whatnot, but, well, I feel like I have enough to say now. I'm gonna drop you off at the orphanage right here before we start packing. I know a few good folk there that'll take care of you for the time being. There's gonna be a lot of snakes after you once they catch whiff of that money bag, so don't be stupid with it, all right? Aye, aye. 
Come on. Is your rope, asshole? Well, you best to be untying it. I'm in a hurry. Well, speak, goddammit. I got places to go. Oh, what you got, old man? Oh, bastard ass hellfire. Oh. <laughs> Lord, I know I ain't a smart kid. In fact, I'm a dunce, about as smart as a box of rocks, but I don't know how many more whippings and lashings I can take. My new pa this week is real bad. He won't even let me eat his pie, so I take his. But I don't blame him, and I don't even, I don't even blame my real pa, and I don't even blame that nice man with the bad hand that gave me all that gold and put me in this orphanage. Even though he did shoot my pa, and that was a horrible accident, I only blame one person, and that's the man that killed my ma. I believe she would be taking good care of me if she was still alive. Sometimes I dream if I had enough money to hire a bounty hunter to find that man that killed my ma and serve him some justice. In fact, I... I'm... Uh, I might just have it. Hello, mister. I know that you're the best bounty hunter in these parts, and I know that I am just some stupid kid, all right? But I've got money for you, and lots of it. I want you to track down the man that killed my ma. Her name was Maybelline. All right, I just want justice for her. Track her killer to the end of the world, all right? How did you get that scar? <laughs> 